Hi friends, welcome to Horsha Razor 91. Today I'm going to show you how to use the RIP feature tool in uh, SolidWorks CAD software. Okay, the RIP it's a uh, it uh, adds thin world support to the solid body. In like in the icon of the RIP, I will show you how to use create the RIP in uh, SolidWorks. Okay, go to the sketch. Uh, okay for that first you have to create a part file okay part i selected a default plane okay right plane i chose because it's for seeing it's good and uh, i'm making a file I'll sketch like this roughly i'm making a sketch like this not thinking about the dimensions it's just for showing the example uh, for how to use the rip tool and I am extruding it through the surface and uh, okay resistance and uh, here I am I want to create a thin wall support here uh, for that I want to draw a okay for that i want to draw a line here for that i want to create a plane over there so i go to the reference geometry plane and uh, flip the side then go to uh, here i want to make a line okay created a plane here and uh, normalize it normalize the plane <coughs> and faces towards me here I want to draw a line which touching this portion and uh, this portion okay okay I created a line here over here you can see by the isometric view okay then I go to the rip tool and uh, rip tool also you can select it from the insert features and uh, rib okay here i also selected and uh, rip tool here you can see the rib feature manager tool and uh, here you can add the thickness of your thin wall section extrude direction here it, this direction is not good this is the right direction along this wall and uh, you can flip the material side also uh, down below that is better that is good and you can apply the draft a certain degree angle to the draft outward or draft inward if you untick this portion I want draft outward and uh, showing it later okay and click ok to create the rib set thin wall section here yeah. yeah this is the thin wall section and i will show how to draft the thin wall section also if i select this uh, the draft tool activates and uh, i'm giving a degree 21 degree and uh taking draft outward click ok then it creates a draft outward direction and uh, I will show you the front side <laughs> like this and uh, again I will show you how to apply the draft inward and uh, activate the draft and uh, type 21 degree here and untick this portion like this the portion went inside I think you understand how to use the rip tool and uh, I will also show another example in the next video I'm um, not the continuing video okay here I have uh, the rectangular box shell it's created by using the shell tool I was I already shown in your my previous tutorial of shell to feature tool using tutorial and uh, here I want to create a rub between the surface uh, okay, so I'm going to select this and uh, 
normalize it it's facing towards my and I'm creating a line over here I want to make a rib like this thin wall section like this mm. and uh, another sketch this is a plane and another sketch like this and uh, I'm making an arc over here Oh, sorry, it's a center point arc, so I want to create like this. Okay, it's like that. Okay, I want to create a rib. This I'm making it to isometric. Okay, exit sketch and I go to the rib and uh, select sketch 1 and select sketch 2 okay first you do one thing and uh, first make it like this okay down side and uh, flip material side now it's right linear natural linear linear click okay it will create a complete line okay if it is if it is natural then what will happen let let me let us see that oh yeah. what is that what is that yeah and uh, flip side material and natural again the same thing will happen nothing no change and again I selecting the rib tool and uh, I want to apply like that and uh, click ok then oh, yes it create the involved section like this and uh, this is the top view it's the sections I made using the rip tool and I think for the friends you understand how to use the rip tool in SOLIDWORKS and uh, if you like my video subscribe me and thank you friends see you in next tutorial bye bye